got the Golden State Warriors heading to Brooklyn, uh, where they're squaring off against the Nets. And right now, Golden State Warriors catching a point and a half, plus 105. Phil's sitting at 237 and a half. Warriors, of course, lost Saturday night against the Hawks. It was in overtime. The Warriors' offense in general um, seems to be clicking a little bit here. Um, I mean, Steph put up 60 <laughs> against the Hawks. Now you could say, Hey, he put up 60 and they still lost. Or you can say, Hey, th- this is a Steph Curry guy who's playing his guts out right now. And man, I, I like them against this Nets team. Uh, give me the Warriors plus one and a half. I always got to stop myself because I love fading this Nets team. Um, and I'm going to do it once again. Give me the golden state warriors plus one and a half. Of course, my boy Ben Simmons back in the news. Only played 14 minutes against the Sixers. Didn't score. He was booed. Uh, I got to read this Ben Simmons quote. Quote: It's funny to me. I've got grown men pissed off and yelling at me. I go home after this. Get the win for me. I'm all about winning. Come here and do our job and get to go home. It's fun. I enjoy that. It's not that deep. It's sports, but it comes with it, so I enjoy it. Yes, uh, Ben Simmons. We're still angry at you, uh, but I don't know this Nets team. They're one of those teams that just are in some ways worse at home. They have a losing record at home. They're 12 and 13. Uh, and even in their losses, golden state has been pretty close. I think you're giving them a point and a half. Um, I, I think their pace, um, I don't, I just don't see the nets defensively being able to hang around with them and, and the warriors, especially as of late, have been a decent rebounding team. Uh, I think, uh, Steph's going to put the team on his back and ice this one himself. So give me the warriors plus one and a half here as a small road dog shark. How say you warriors nets? Yeah, you, you use the word sharp. And I, I think you're in sharp environment here. And you go back to the last time these teams played on uh, December 16th in Golden State. Golden State was favored by three and a half points or five, depending on when you got the line. And they won by four. So I think, you know, Sean likes to gamble. And Sean has said this on record, and I've kind of played off him because I like it for him. He likes the sweaty ones far more yeah. than I do. I'll tell you that. I want to blow it. I want boring basketball. Sean wants that sweat. He's going to get it tonight. And I think what you're looking at here is just really a merge dynamic where, personally, I couldn't find a side. Um, <clears throat> Brooklyn is 4-4 four and four at home against the Western Conference, so cut, pretty much right on their average where they should be, in my opinion. They're 14-11 and 11 ATS at home, which is also probably right where they should be. And if you guys remember, Golden State started the season super hot on the road. They were 9-3 and three ATS in their first 12. They are 2-6 and six since. And I think when you zoom out on this season and you see how hot they were, and now how cold they are, it is getting to right around that slightly under 500 average, which they probably should have. So the moral of the story is for me, I think both teams are pretty much right where they're supposed to be on their graph in this situation. But Sean's going to gamble tonight, and we back him for it. Golden State, get it. Let's roll those those dice, baby. Uh, Junior, how say you, uh, Warriors Nets? Not much to say because I don't have a play on the game and just – Personally, you got to know when to stay away. I've been burned the last couple of times I tried to fade Brooklyn. I've just yeah. picked I just picked the wrong spots to fade them. Uh, so it's and also there's a very specific nuance about this game. Realistically, is that uh, I got a lot of family in Brooklyn, and you don't even need family in Brooklyn to know this. You just need league pass. If any popular team or a very popular player comes into the building, that team is going to have more fans yeah. in that building than the Nets do. You're going to hear louder cheers for the Golden State Warriors tonight than you're going to hear for the Nets. So, or at least it's going to be 50-50. So, it's not even a, a typical road game for Golden State. Steph is going to probably want to put on a show in New York City. Uh, there's a lot of angles I don't like about this game or a lot of unknowns. And again, I've been burned fading Brooklyn lately, so uh, I'm going to uh, stay away. Yeah, Barclay is a poor man's uh, MSG, where it does feel like, hey, especially for the Warriors, right? Like, th- to your yeah, point, yeah, yeah. They're, they're probably going to have more fans. So, yeah, Guaranteed. let's get it. Let's get it, Steph. Warriors plus one and a half, uh, my official play for the game. Lock it up for me. 